It's a little chilly today. But even though it's chilly, my brain still is working. And I don't usually post two days in a row of this type of thing. But this, this had to be said. So do you realize that you can't chop down a tree, build the house, and decorate the house all at the same time? I know. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk that I would have thought about building a house or decorating a house for that matter? Or um, I'm chopping a tree down. Um, and I don't mean in any environmental way, and I don't mean necessarily in a physical way. I mean in a mental capacity way. So anyway, so chopping down the tree, building the house, and, and of course decorating. What does that even mean? That means you can't do it all at one time. You can't. You can't attend to all the things you need to attend to at one time. You can't try to become the thing that you need to become in total all at one time. You can't allow yourself to get bogged down and get sidetracked by only doing one thing when there is other things to do at the same time. But you need to attend to chopping down the tree when it's time to chop the tree down, when it's time to order those things and to get those things ready to go. So that when you start building the house, you have all the supplies and you have all the things you need and you have ready to go. You still may need to chop a couple of trees down, maybe to fit a fixture here or a little piece there or something might break unexpectedly. But that tree still needs to get chopped down first and then the house can start being built. And then you frame it and then you put it together and then you line it up and then you do the finished carpentry and then you decorate. And then you decorate and you put up curtains and flooring and beautiful paintings and you put up new carpet and, and you fill it with scents and smells of deliciousness. But you can't do all three at the same time. You can't put up the picture of the family on the tree that hasn't been cut. You can't lay the carpet in the house before the roof is on. And you can't decorate and move on without those th other two things done as well. So I want you to hear me on this. So often we get upset with ourselves, mad at ourselves, down on ourselves, discouraged by what we are doing currently. But we forget that we've been cutting down a tree for a long time very often. Or maybe we're in the midst of building that house. Maybe we're in the midst of something very big and complex and that's taking a lot of attention. Or maybe you're ready to decorate. Maybe you're ready to move on and get creative and do something different and change yourself. Maybe you've already decorated once and you want to decorate again. Maybe you've decorated with blue and you're now decorating with pink. Who does that? No one. Anyway, you could decorate it with pink if you want to. There's all different kinds of pink. But think about this. We want to change our thoughts, but we also want to change our feet. But we also want to change our friends. But we also want to change our faith. But we also want to change our direction in life and we want to look for a new passion and we want to own something different and we want to be something that we're not ready to be yet. But I'll tell you this, you have been designed to do great things and you have been designed to take on so much at one time. But so often we want to move on before we're ready to be in the place we're at. And sometimes you need to hold fast and do what you need to do. Focus on the neat things you need to focus on. And then when your, when your body is ready, like your house, or the tree has been cut and ready to build, or the house is finished and ready to decorate, you also will be ready to move on to, to the next great adventure, to the next decoration, maybe even to the next tree to cut down to do the new, next house. Don't take this analogy too far. You are going to be who you are. God has made you great. God has made you important. God has made you terrifically balanced and designed. But you also need to realize that it's okay that you can't do all things at one time. It's okay that you don't think all thoughts at the same time. It's okay that maybe it doesn't all work. Like very often we think we're falling apart and in reality our body's just trying to refix where we're at right now. Maybe it's a redecoration time in your life. Maybe it's a resetting of your mindset. Maybe your body is physically going through something that is gonna bring you to something new. Maybe your mind and your heart are being challenged and changed. Don't worry, let yourself actually go through the process. And remember, when you're sitting on that chair, that beautiful rocking chair on your own porch, overlooking your own view, and you get to see, you will be reminded that you chopped the tree down, that you built the house, and that you allowed yourself to sit in the magnificent decoration that has been designed around you and in you and through you. 
I hope that you have a fantastic day and I hope that you understand that you are tremendous in so many ways and give yourself the opportunity to learn that each and every day. Have a great day, guys.